the opaque white area and drag the mouse within the black area and release it. It is performing the trap and the pullback simultaneously. I now want to measure the densities. I press D to activate the densities tool. I click this black area. It contains rich black. Let me measure the trap now. It is a 100% trap of my opaque white and a pullback of cyan. And here, a 100% opaque white. The trap has been performed on all the similar instances in the file. I can verify whether this would cover all the trap needs inside my object by enabling the registration error simulation in the quality control section. By pressing Y, I can generate a new misregistration simulation to see whether all possible errors are fixed. I disable the registration error simulation. Leaving trapping mode. I click the Leave Trapping Mode button. I have returned to the normal interface. A trap layer, Trap Layer 1, has been added directly under the Processing Step layer. From now on, the trappings I have created are part of the artwork. Command plus zero. I click the eye icon next to the Trap Layer 1, while holding down the Option key to show only that layer. Z. I see all the trappings in this layer. I hold the Option key and click the eye icon next to Trap Layer 1 to show all the layers. If I want to go back to the trapping session again, it will actually take me to a new trapping session. I cannot edit the previous trapping anymore, and it will automatically create a Trap Layer 2 on top of the previous trap layer. I click the Trapping button, and then click the Enter Trapping Mode button. I trap. As you can see, a new trap layer, Trap Layer 2, has been created above the previous trap layer. I only show Trap Layer 2. It contains only the trap, which I created just now.